Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to the Buffed Nebula Spotlight Overview video. Going to be spending a bit of time going between what's in game and also what is being from the buffed information. I've had a little bit of a read through this and i got to be honest, it doesn't feel like a huge amount of changing to the way that the champion is played out and I believe this is the value only update where um, I've got to read the Karnak one in a minute but I kind of kind of feel that's, uh, that's going to be like the overhaul because... At the end of the day, the stuff that I've read with Nebula seems exactly the same as what you got in game, except some changes to the signature ability, which actually are really good. And instead of it being a case of the normal playstyle, you may be adding in something different on your rotation and build. So it kind of bit of conflicting things but we need to go over this. So one of the key things to mention is that the champion usually has these things referred to as electroshock charges. These are going to change name. These are now referred to as amp charges. And they literally play out the same way as electroshock charges do which is build up them and choose to do certain moves to give shock damage to the enemy. It's pretty much the same thing. Same thing with the interaction with hashtag robot champions. Those percentages uh, remain the same. It's still 20% per electroshock charge or it's uh, each amp charge, which is again, as a, like it remains uh, the same. Well, time blocks convert all amp charges into shock debuffs on the opponent. And I believe it's the same thing when it comes to like how it's done here. Yeah, yeah. So like the same thing is in game here. The Nebula spends all electroshock charges and to shock her opponent dealing X damage over X seconds. You know, that it just remains exactly the same there for anybody's worry that the play style um, of how you like to play Nebula has changed. There's something that's pretty cool as well. There's a little buff. As it says here with um, the self-repair charges, Nebula starts the fight with the two self-repair charges that activate when the opponent deals more than 110% of their attack in a single hit, repairing the damage taking over five seconds if stunned during her self-repair, the repair stops. And also there's something with the signature ability, which is when Nebula is out of self-repair charges, she tries to recalibrate her implants, granting um, X amount of percent chance to regain a charge over 10 seconds. This is, a, this is now, the signature ability is within the champion abilities. So as it says here, Nebula begins each fight with three indefinite self-repair charges. When she runs out, she will gain another uh, after 10 seconds. And th the same thing, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. So it's like, it's still... It's still like, it's good that that's the case. So it doesn't mean that you need to uh, awaken the champion for that ability. But you might want to awaken the champion for the other ability, which, the new signature ability, which we'll go over in a moment. Also, the same thing remains the same, the same way that you build up those um, electroshock charges, which, as I said, now are called amp charges. It's the case of holding block in order to build them up. Uh, which is now same same thing. Like if you're if you're kind of worried about while holding block, Nebula builds up one amp charge every 0.65 seconds. Each time an immunity prevents the shock effect on Nebula, gain five amp charges. So you know if you take her against shock, then hey, it's it's helpful. It's kind of like a charge up type method. There also feels like after the SP1, there's been a a buff to the extent of. Um, the power control so that's good like the way it is at the moment is 3.5 percent of the target's max power per shock debuff and i don't think this scales on rank for that 3.5 percent from what i gather and what i remember it's the green numbers that are the things that scale up or scale in a certain way scale down scale up um to be beneficial as you rank up the champion so i don't think that 3.5 percent will go up to anything you know to extravagant yeah just checking on my um just so i could like but for, for like mental state go like okay yeah it doesn't doesn't scale up yeah i mean there's a there's a full start at rank at rank five and that's 3.5 percent still the reason i mention this is that there is a buff that's uh, been done to the uh depletion of power it's 12 12 percent now as opposed to like 3.5 percent so that's really good and if you're interested in any comparison that is better doing the sp1 of Nebula then it would be doing the SP2 of Rogue so that's just gonna go straight like it is a great improvement and I am very much happy for it especially if you were looking to run Nebula as a power control option taking on all or nothing node and as well anything else that the enemy is getting exponential amounts of power in a very quick time frame now what of the other special attacks well it's exactly the same as it was before let's face it you can either choose the option of heavy attacking and, and here's the thing, there is a bit of a risk to it. If you want to avoid your amp up charges just being consumed just yet, doing a well-timed block 
which will probably lead into a, a parry, then you're able to throw your SP too. That's what a lot of people do because number one, you switch, you uh, you deliver your amp up charges and convert them all to uh, shock debuffs. You're then throwing the SP2, which removes all personal shock effects on the opponent for each shock removed. This way, she inflicts two shock debuffs, each dealing 1,949.6 damage. I don't know if that's a little bit of a buff and improvement. It will need testing out. But that's just the thing. is It's kind of like, it's exactly the same. There's nothing really kind of like to, to talk about on that one. So that's something to kind of mention. Yes, the developers said that you can go and try and heavy attack into the champion and counter with heavy attacks there's a lot of risk with it and that's just the thing like yes you got those uh, self-repair charges and yes those are great but if you miss time in any kind of way it becomes a problem i reckon a nice unstoppable or unblockable based um like buff if the champion had it for whatever reason would make her an absolute machine because you would be able to without a any concern just throw heavy attacks left right and center and not worry about um the electroshock charges or amp charges converting over because you'll be doing lots of heavy attacks to build and not worrying about the well timed block. So as soon as you've done all those shock damages, then it's a case you're throwing it over. Or find a way to reset the shock would have been a better idea to kind of like get more damage. But still, the, the method of play is still absolutely fine. Let's move on to the SP3 now. And like for me, like looking at the SP3, there's nothing really in game at the moment. So like it, it's all about where the um where the new ability comes in and how that really can like you know dramatically improve it's kind of the same actually i'll be honest when reading it there's a little bit of like samey stuff so nebula gains a weapon overcharge passive lasting 25 seconds while active nebula has a 65 percent chance to gain an amp charge when making contact with the opponent while active she any contact with the opponent has 75 chance to inflict a shock debuff gotta be honest actually now that i read it i actually think it's like it's better because then what you're doing is with this you are more ramping up as quickly as possible like you can throw the sp2 and it's like it's done but what if you throw the sp3 first and look to build is that a quicker range of process with this and or maybe you kind of you throw your sp2 and then you like do that big damage and then you do an sp3 i don't know it's going to be these this thing about testing uh so what do developers say her new ability to gain amp charges while in the weapon overcharge is a great tool for raising up to 20 charges, uh, charge special two in those fights where blocking is a bit too scary. Um, I guess, that's, well, SP3 and then build up to an SP2 from there. That's the quicker process. So that's good. So what they've done is they've improved the damage, speed and momentum or the speed and momentum to get to the damage so that i like that that's that's good that's uh that allows you know quick takedown now as we said in game right now there's nothing really when it comes to signature ability as it stands it's all about the self-repair charge as we said the new buff is looking to take that within the ability itself so where does the signature ability come in what is it all about well while the opponent is suffering from at least one shock debuff nebula gains 25% combat power rate. That'll probably be a scalable number. So it'll probably start for like, I don't know, 10% and then get better. This is really good. If you're looking to quickly get to an SP3, this really speeds up the momentum to get the damage. And I love it. I'm all about it. Developers note is extra power means more special attacks. Rate that SP2 or SP3 even faster. So basically, this increases the rotation of damage. And as I, and as I said, I'm all about it. I like it. One of the other problems for Nebula is that she doesn't really have anything of a signature ability improving her. Proxima Midnight, as a lot of us know, were, was the only uh, champion that really helped out uh, in any kind of degree because it was all about quick building of those electroshock charges. So is there something and it actually gets something that I really like. As we as I said a moment ago, what if the idea was those shock debuffs were on longer? The, the kind of like the longer that they were on, Benefits the damage of the SP2. And that's the case. There is one there. Black Widow Deadly Origin, who I will probably be rocking with this, or Guardian, the two great champions. So Nebula gaining an amp charge pauses all shock debuffs on the opponent for 0.2 seconds. That's insane. If you're doing a heavy attack build, you put a shock debuff on the opponent. Same thing with going to like an SP3. If you do an SP3 and this synergy kicks in, it is going to be really beneficial for keeping those shock debuffs on. High signature is allowing you to build up to an SP2 quicker, convert all those amp charges before that SP2, and converts all of those... Um, 
shocks into bigger and better shocks as a result. That could really, really add in some insane shock damage. But then also self-repair sufficiency, which is start the fight with one additional self-repair charge. Self -repair, yeah, I mean, that's okay. I mean, shock recursion uh, recursion is um, is the, the one that I'm really looking forward to. That is going to be brilliant. But um, yeah, I wonder what the other synergies will be, whether or not uh, Proxima Midnight is going to get one. And um, whether or not it's going to be beneficial for the champion. The Nebula buff actually looks interesting. But it does seem like this is a value uh, rather than anything. This doesn't look like an, uh, an overhaul because it doesn't look like there's a lot of things changed with it. But in any case, what are your thoughts on what you've read so far? And as well, will you be rank 5 this champion? Are you excited to check out some stuff? Thoughts in the comment section down below. I appreciate you for coming out to the video and giving it some support on watch. Also, check out some other content located on screen right now. Should hopefully be like back live streaming. Did take last night off, but I'll see you later on for the live stream. Have a good one. God bless. Bye-bye.